Are you looking for the best 3D printer? In this video we will look at some of the best 3D printer on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Creality Ender 3S1. I'd avoided Ender 3 printers for a long while because they came in kit form and required many hours of assembly, setup and fine-tuning to use. For just a little more than the kit versions, the newer Ender 3S1 comes nearly fully pressembled and with high-end features like a direct drive extruder and a self-leveling bed. Print quality even out of the box was excellent, although a lot of that comes down to having good models to work from. I'd love it to have a touchscreen and Wi-Fi, but apart from those missing features, this is a great way to get polished results from a sub $403D printer. Number 2. NiCubic Cobra 2. While not as fast as the P1P or the X1C, the Cobra 2 is around the same speed as the Ankamake M5. It will happily produce prints at 250 mm per second, though the best quality seems to be hovering around 150 mm forward slash s in my testing. It also comes with a filament runout sensor and bed leveling, which works extremely well. The big selling point for the Cobra 2 though is the price. It has all the advantages of a faster printer with a sub $300 price tag, which is astonishing. This is my recommendation for any first-time buyer or someone on a budget. Number 3. NiCubic Mono 2. Resin printers are the next step up in rapid prototyping design technology when you want your printing to look as high quality as possible. Just be warned, the liquid resin is harder to work with, requiring good ventilation and a portable UV light to properly cure. The Mono 2 is NiCubic's latest upgrade to its popular Mono series and is a solid upgrade to the original. The prints are detailed and the printer's size makes it easy to put safely in your workshop. If you want to get into resin printing, the Mono 2 is a great starting point. Number 4. Elegoo Satin 2. The Elegoo Satin 2 is an almost perfect upgrade from the original Satin. It is bigger and more powerful, with better quality prints than its predecessor and my number one choice for a mid-range resin 3D printer. If you are looking to print serious details or a lot of tiny models, this is simply the best choice. Number 5. Flashforge Adventurer 4. The Flashforge Adventurer 3 has long been one of CNET's favorite mid-price 3D printers. The updated Adventurer 4 brings a handful of iterative improvements that make for a winning evolution. The Adventurer 4 is a fully enclosed unit, which helps control the temperature and block drafts. The build area is 220 by 200 by 250 mm, and it has a system for easily swapping out nozzles, all good features to have in a mid-level to high-end printer. Number 6. Creality CR30. A word of warning, the CR30 is not for the beginners out there. It is a complicated machine, and you will need some 3D printing knowledge to really get the hang of it. It's also a very different beast and instead of printing on a static-sized build plate, it uses a conveyor belt to create an endless Z-axis. That lets you print very long things or lots of things over and over again. If you are a cosplayer looking to make weapons or large armor pieces, the CR30 gives you a lot of room to create. I've managed to print Squall's Gunblade from Final Fantasy VIII as well as the Whisper of the Worm from Destiny 2, both were printed in two halves and attached together. It's great for small businesses looking to mass-produce small parts, and with just two CR-30s you could create a small empire on Etsy or Shopify.